This video is to discuss uh, extraction idiosyncrasies of uh, various JSTSM clone uh, connectors. There's an example of a worst case scenario that I found, but there is, I did figure out a procedure that effectively will allow this to work. Uh, often the clones do not match the JST data sheets. And so you've got to uh, deal with those idiosyncrasies. And here we have normally a straight latch on the JST. This is slightly curved. And it appears that the uh, terminal is a little bit too large and they drag inside the plastic. And apparently it appears that the edges are relatively sharp, possibly with metal flashing, which snags on the material on the plastic when they come out. But I did uh, determine how to accurately do it. This is my extractor for the male JSTSM. And these are higher quality, uh, 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 higher quality uh, male connectors. And uh, this, these have been used a bit, but hopefully I'll be able to Give you an example here, they aren't virgins. They fit in there like this, push in, hold, press up slightly, and they should extract that easily. And here is the other one that I found that is quite difficult, but I have developed a procedure, and that's what this video is about. So we'll attempt that. You'll notice there is some movement in there. The idea is to put that in there all the way forward. Hold it with your finger in the back to keep it from sliding back. And then, this is key, instead of trying to pull out because you're going to receive dragging, you can't do that. So I found that if I raised it up slightly and just tugged on it slightly, sometimes you'll feel a little click but sometimes not. It doesn't matter. Do each individual wire. Sometimes it'll come out, sometimes not. But typically, you will notice that they've moved back quite a ways. Now you take the wire and you push down on it and then move back and forth until it extracts. That does seem to work. We just cleared the latch catch point and that was the key. But there's no way to tell when you've got it inserted in the extractor. But that is the procedure. It seems to work adequately. But this is a worst case scenario of connectors that I found on the internet that are clones. Most of the time it'll be much easier, like the first one I demonstrated.